guys, welcome back. Orbom here, bringing you a super slept on card, in my opinion, because this Tactimon combo deck that I have built is kind of bonkers. It's the first like OTK deck I've built in a while where you're just kind of building up your board until you have the one turn where you can take all five security and swing for game if you can and uh i love this deck this has been probably the most fun deck i've played in a while um if you guys don't know what Tactimon does he's kind of nutty but before we get into the video a few things i want to mention uh first of all drop a like you guys have been destroying the digimon deck profiles lately and i appreciate it uh, unlike the previous deck profiles this will not have games at the end of the video because there's a lot of editing issues I had. I don't really want to sit down and re-record games anymore, but I did stream. So I figured because I have the stream on the channel, you guys can just go check it out. I will link it in the description. But for all of you that are interested, if you ever want to see my Digimon streams, <sighs> I always leave them unlisted. So you can check them out in the Digimon streams playlist on the YouTube channel if they're not linked down below, but they'll usually be linked in these Digimon videos. But yeah, we played a game. It, it was in the 1.5 testing stream which was then changed to the set five comboed stream. Um, so like halfway through the stream, you'll see a switch from set 1.5 to set five testing. And uh, this Tactimon deck was putting in work. It's really, really cool. So if you guys don't know, it has a win attacking skill of um, gaining a memory, gaining 2000 DP, or deleting up to three of your opponents level three Digimon. But if you have no other Digimon except for this one on the board, then uh, you get all three effects at the same time. And the whole combo with this deck is that we are trying to attack multiple times in a turn with this one Digimon. How we pull that off? Well, if you guys remember the Galmon video, we do it by swinging multiple times using the likes of Black World Greymon and uh, Wergurumon. They both have the same uh, inheritance and inheritable, which is uh, when attacking, you can delete one of your other Digimon to unsuspend this Digimon. Uh, this one has Digibars 3, which is you know even more useful than Wergurumon, but we want to make sure we have as many of these level fives as possible. But uh, Digiverse to summon your level threes on the board so you can delete them so you can attack again. So with this, they're once per turn effects, obviously, but we also have the effect of Demonic Disaster here, which will let you delete a Digimon to unsuspend one of your purple Digimon again. So if we can attack a few times, we constantly get the buff. So we go from like 13,000 to 15,000 to 17,000. If we have any other buffs through any other Digimon, the only other Digimon that gives us a buff is Gigimon. But if we do actually have Gigamon exactly underneath, after an attack, after two attacks, you should be able to... After the second attack, you'll have more power than Omnimon, so you shouldn't worry about anything in security. Uh, obviously, this deck's biggest weakness is hitting into something stronger than you in security uh but exactly something that usually it's the usually the only things that come into mind are level sevens because there's not many 13,000 power level sixes uh none that are super relevant at the moment at least so uh you're not gonna have any issues with hitting anything that's level sixes so your only concerns are like the four or five of level sevens that some decks play and not all decks but other than that you'll be swinging at security and just taking it turn by turn uh, the other card we play just to kind of like replace Tactimon in a, in a sense is a uh, Metal Gurumon. It doesn't have all the bonus effects. Like this thing can keep attacking, keep gaining you memory, keep getting DP. And is also really good versus uh, the likes of um, Purple, not Purple, Yellow, uh, Lord Nightmon, uh, Crusadermon. Because it constantly attacks and puts level 3s on board. But whenever you attack, you can delete up to 3 of your opponent's level 3s. So you can actually board clear, which is really funny. And it's come up multiple times. I've killed Lucemon, Starmons, all sorts of Digimon against Yellow when I was playing this deck. So it's kind of really cool. Uh, but Metal Grumon, it doesn't do the same thing, but it does do the same thing in the sense of like you can attack on over and over again. Because this thing has a win attacking skill to play level, uh, to play a purple level 3 Digimon from your trash. And it's not once per turn either. So because it's not once per turn, every time you attack and restand, you get to summon more purple Digimon, uh, more level 3 Digimon that you can instantly delete. Uh, so that you can constantly attack again and again using your your um, inheritance inheritable and your uh, demonic disaster down here. Other than that, this this list is still a work in progress, but this is a work. This is what I have right now. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. <laughs> As you guys know, I'm the big biggest Chaos Galamon stand. I love Chaos Galamon. I've done multiple videos on Chaos Galamon, but I think this build is going to be my favorite purple build, which is a shame for me to say, but 
because of cards like Earthshaker and Hell's Gate, we have enough control options to where we can control the board and uh, until we can slowly build up our guy, which, which most of the time is not slowly because we are building a very standard, consistent list, 12, 11, 9, 7. Obviously, we're a little low on the rookies, but 11, 9, and 7, that's like the pretty stereotypical amount for consistent lists as far as the higher end goes. We're just we're just missing a few of the rookies, which is fine because we don't always need the rookies. As long as we get this Gilmon, really, <laughs> Gilmon or Tapirmon, but these both draw you cards, and of course we are playing Demi Marimon. We are, remember, we are purple list. Because we're purple list, we have all this extra draw. Um, so being consistent is not a big deal. Goblinmon draws this card, yada, 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 you know the draw. But anyways, I guess as far as the official deck profile goes, we talked about it. Four Goblinmon draws you cards. Tape, Tapermon draws you cards. Gilmon draws you, uh, gets you memory, gains you the memory, which means that if you were to delete it, you can get a whole lot of extra memory with Tactimon. And keep in mind that when you attack, say that you have a Tactimon and a Gilmon, and the Tactimon is underneath a Weregarumon, you can attack, use the Weregarumon to restand by deleting your Gilmon. And because you are now the only Digimon on the board, when you did that first attack, you you are still getting all three effects while being able to attack twice. So it's actually that's a super cool combo. So you attack, delete the Gilmon. Now you're gaining two memory in that attack because of the Gilmon and the Tactimon. Uh, and then you gain 2,000 power and delete some Digimon as well. So uh, it's a really, really, really strong when it goes into play. And of course, the reason why this can be an OTK deck is because we have access to Black World Groundmon here, which gives us security attack plus one if one of my Digimon is deleted. So obviously you delete a Digimon, Oh, using Weregrumon's Inheritable, Restand, and now you have Security Attack plus one with all your attacks that turn. So usually you're taking four Security at the same time, at least, assuming you don't have any of the other pieces as well, or any other Digimon that can attack, right? So it's really, really cool combo, but that's it for the level threes. Level fours are going to be really similar. We have two Devi Bonds for removal over here with uh, Retaliation. We have uh, the four Black World Grandma, the most important one because we want that security attack plus one really badly. There's nothing else quite like it. The only other card that is similar as far as what purple has is, uh, is Garurumon because Garurumon lets you gain a memory every time you attack. Uh, this one right here, but because gaining a memory is not going to make us take two security at the same time, <laughs> and it's also a once per turn effect, it doesn't really matter. <sighs> Excuse me. I don't know why it's... Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to click level four. Boom. Easy. All right. Yeah, other than that, like purple doesn't really have as many... Well, this is... Let me, let me fix this. There we go. <laughs> This one is when destroyed, gain a memory. Like, there's a bunch of when destroyed effects that we don't care about. Retaliation. The only thing that really matters to us, um, and this is when attacking, uh, draw one, discard one. And that one's not as bad, but overall, it's not getting a security attack plus one. If we had another security attack plus one, we'd pr probably be playing six of the cards that are similar to that sense. But we only have the four, so we got to rock with the four. Um, the perfect combo is obviously you have any level three, it doesn't matter. Uh, Black World Grandmon. I'll keep in mind, if you're going to use the Black World Grandmon, you can't actually use Black or, uh, I'm sorry. If you're going to use a Black Grandmon, you can't use Black War Grandmon's, um, Digiburst because then you're going to lose this guy. So you're not going to be Digibursting all the time if you have this in particular. But if you don't have this, Digiburst is free because none, none of the other effects matter except for maybe Retaliation, but that's a big maybe. We are playing with five blockers. I like five blockers. I'm on the fence about whether I want to play four or three of these, four of these. I'm playing right now the three, two split. I still think having 6,000 power blockers is really important in this game. So um, that's why I cut down to three of these and two of these. Retaliation is so good. One to Evo is still pretty good. Uh, yeah, as far as before we go, we're just playing a random Skull Marimon just to fill up our level 8 counts. You really need to find your level 8s, and since Skull Marimon is the cheapest hard drop level 5, and uh, I don't really want to play Chimarimon in this build. A uh, Chimarimon's nice, but realistically, we're just kind of like chilling with a dude in the raising area until he's built up to what we need, and then we go from there. Um... Uh, so yeah, just being able to hard drop this and then evolve it into one of these guys is is good enough. Um, as far as the rest of the build goes, we have Hell's Gate, Demonic Disaster, Earthshaker, Matt, and a Takumi. One thing I did think about dropping altogether is Takumi. Matt is super important. I wasn't playing Matt in this build, and the difference between playing Matt and not playing Matt in this deck has been dramatic. It's been 
I don't know what I was going to say. I made it sound way weirder than I thought I was going to say, but it's dramatic <laughs> how much of a difference there is. You really need to start your turn with three memory because you really want to make sure that you're going to evolve up into these guys as quickly and efficiently as possible. So having Matt gets you one of your option cards back, make you start with three memory a turn, pretty big. One thing I do want to play, like I mentioned earlier, or don't want to play is Takumi. Takumi's cool. Being able to stop any rushing towards you, which is pretty handy against some matchups. Uh, the problem is that I was expecting to draw cards, but because you can't draw, because I'm you, most of the time when I'm playing this deck, most of my evolving happens specifically in the racing area. I haven't been able to abuse Takumi as much as I would like. So you, this could be Millennium on to have a removal option. This could be uh, probably just Millennium on is the only one that matters because you want to be the level six. You don't want to be the level seven. The level seven doesn't really help you. Uh, because it doesn't, you can't really pull off all the cool shenanigans you can pull off with Tactic Amon and Swarm the Board with Metal Guru Amon that you could with um, that you could with uh, one of the level sevens. But the, pro the cool thing about Millennium on in particular is that Millennium on has the ability to be deleted and then come right back. So Millennium on is probably the best level seven you could play in purple in this build, not only as a removal option, but as another way as another way to delete a Digimon. You can attack with a Digimon, right? Use Demonic Disaster. So you, yeah, let me rephrase this. Attack with Millennium on. Attack with a different Digimon. Use Demonic Disaster to delete the Millennium on, which will then come right back, assuming it has an evolution source below it. Um, and then restand the other Digimon, which can then attack again. And then you have a restanding Millennium on that's on the board. Um, which technically, <clears throat> if you wanted to, you could delete again to restand another one of your level six as well but i've also never had multiple level sixes on the board when playing this deck unless i've really popped off which i guess is the same thing as excuse me i guess which is the same thing as any other deck right so i guess it makes sense but uh the only other purple options we have we have um omnimon's word d which i do like i feel like if you're playing against blue because blue is a really bad matchup for you right uh well a is a really bad matchup, although I've beaten it multiple times on stream, which you can check out on the channel. But <laughs> it's a bad matchup because losing your evolution sources to Hexablaumon or Sora and Joe, Joe and Sora, whatever that tamer is called, is really, really punishing for you because you really do want to make sure you have your security, uh, your your uh, evolution sources to abuse their inheritables. But if you don't have them, then you're a lot slower. You can still win because you have an insane card in Tactimon, but it, you are still a lot slower. So having access to Zwart is a really cool way to do, remove Tamers and be a removal option itself because if you delete it using exactly uh, exactly Demonic Disaster uh, or you know your evolution source, then uh, you can have a removal option as well. You could argue that playing that playing this is better than Millennium on. Uh, it doesn't come back when being deleted, but it is like essentially double removal and can come from security. So it has it has its um it has its benefits. Uh, this Zwart the, the this Zwart is probably not useful at all because you can digivolve, put guys on the board, but why do you you don't even want guys on the board because you're Tactimon, right? You kind of want to be alone. You want to have your dudes deleted so you can have as take as much advantage of being a Tactimon as possible. So it's not as great, but it's not bad either. Um, but definitely not as good as the Millennium on and Zord D. Which, whether Millennium on or Zord D is better is really up to you. This was double removal, but this one is like this one is uh, removal plus can plus floating, so like you can come right back and uh, you can delete yourself again to proc more effects. But once again, that's if you want to play level six at all, which you or level seven at all, which you can because. When I test this deck in the future, first of all, I really want to play three Matt. I feel like Matt is just good. I'm waiting patiently with my hands clapped for a new memory tamer for purple because Matt is great. I love Matt. I think Matt's an excellent card, but my God, <laughs> I want something I can play turn one without feeling guilty. Like I have to, I have to slap down Matt so often in the beginning of the game just because I want to gain that memory throughout the game, but I don't have anything in my trash. So... I feel guilty playing the mat, and I don't want to feel guilty playing my memory tamer. Like, give us more memory tamers for purple, bro. I need a good one. Give us something tasty, something delicious. Another thing you can do is easily throw in more Hell's Gate and Earthshaker. Both are amazing. I really like Earthshaker. Six plates remove a level four and a level five on the board is really strong. And of course, this being able to remove any level seven on the board, any level six or higher on the board is really good as well. Having these as options is great. Um. 
I think my initial thing I would do if I were to continue playtesting this deck is one, figure out what Digimon I do and don't need. Uh, two, try out three mats, figure out if I like it. If I feel like three mats is too much, cut the mat down. Maybe go to a third Earthshaker and a third Hell's Gate. And then the third thing I try is Millennium on, or not Millennium on. I'd probably do, hmm. I'd probably start with Zort D, I think. You gotta be careful with Zort D though, because if you don't have a purple Digimon on board, I guess you have to be careful with Millennium on too, because they're both not purple. You won't be able to use your option cards, which is kind of important. But I guess if you have mats, not that big of a deal. Or maybe like all those options are lame and just drawing extra cards, even though it won't be as often uh, with takumi because if you guys don't know uh <clears throat> all effects like um your cards are blind to your raising area so if you were to evolve in the raising area you can't use takumi to draw a card uh which i've learned that recently well i, I mean i kind of knew that but i had somebody tell me that that was wrong and then i had to go double check and you know i was like okay i was right i knew i was right <laughs> it's just one of those things where like somebody tells you that you're wrong you're just like am i wrong i don't i don't think i'm wrong uh but whatever uh, how long has this video been? I don't think there's much else to talk about. This has been a long deck profile, but I really like this deck. There's a definitely give this deck a try. If you can just get you'll you'll understand what I mean once you can get Tactimon on top of a Black World Gramon or, or Wegarumon and start pulling off the card. Because this card is crazy. You can get super strong, beat over pretty much any Digimon, and <laughs> gain continuously gain memory. Like usually you can attack enough times to gain enough memory to just hard play a rookie and then delete it again. <laughs> it's really great. Uh anyways drop a like if you haven't already those likes are super duper huge and comments are massive i'm going to be doing a uh, ideally eight box opening on friday around like one o'clock my time of uh set 1.5 if you're interested in seeing that and uh i'll be doing hopefully either tournaments use because i have like four more boxes coming in the mail after that but i I'm probably not going to need to open them. So I'm either going to be hosting tournaments or doing giveaways. Remember, uh, I'm a, maybe I'll treat it like Pokemon where like I take all the comments from all my Digimon videos and uh, from the past, like I DK like a month, two months and be all like, okay, if you left a comment in any of these videos, I'll throw your name in a pot and uh, da, 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 pick a random winner. That's probably what I'm going to do. But we'll see. I'm not super sure on that yet. I have to ask my sponsors, which by the way, always sponsors the Guardian Gaming if you're looking for Pokemon TCG codes. But that's going to be the video, guys. Let me know what decks you guys want to see me play next time. Another big card that I should mention is Gigamon as well. Because this Gigamon is really useful. If we get into an Omnimon heavy format, you probably want to play Gigamon over Demi Marimon and maybe play a few more drawing cards. Like maybe you can cut out the Skull Marimon and play something along the lines of Lady Devimon um, to play more drawing options. Because... Uh, if we get into an Omni heavy format and you constantly start hitting things like Omni Modern Security, you really want to make sure that you have that extra power to get over it because you're going to be deleting something with this, making yourself be 13,000, and then your first attack will put you up to 15. Um, you're still short by, a, by, by being even, but um, if, after the second attack, you're 17. So all you really need to do is have any Digimon that can give you 1,000 more power. Um, the only ones that come to mind, let's actually take a look. Uh, Gigamon is always going to be live because you're always going to be deleting your own Digimon. So Gigamon is definitely the best one. Um, but let me take a look at the other purple ones because there's always this guy. If you have five more cards in your trash, you get a thousand memory. I was playing the the tamer, the option card that lets you gain memory. But because I never had enough cards in my trash, I just ended up dropping it. Because to get to that point, you really have to be losing a lot. Because you don't want your cards to be in the trash outside of you dumping them yourself through your Demi Marimon. But your only way to dump cards is Demi Marimon and uh, <clears throat> Gabumon. You don't have any other ways to like put your own cards from your hand to the trash. You can put cards from the field from the trash. Uh, but that's not going to be enough to become 10 quickly enough to where it's, wild, to where it's live. Uh, other than that, yeah, the only ones that gain you memory are those. So this is definitely the best one. Um, I'm, trying to think of, I'm trying to make sure there's, I'm not missing anything when I make these videos. Because purple has so many options, right? Uh, this is obviously the level, set, level sixes you play because they're the facilitators of your strategy. Uh, you don't want to play anything like Lucimon or Anubismon. Like, those cards are good, but they don't help you with your strategy here. They only help you by being good for giving your other guys rush or gaining more memory from option cards. Um, 
yeah, this is the purple strategy you're going with an OTK Tactimon strategy. Definitely my favorite build that I've played so far, and I've liked a lot of builds. I loved Red Shaman. I loved playing All Force Hexablau Blue, which is going to be the profile I do very soon once I get that deck ironed out. Lord Nightmon, obviously I love yellow decks. I love Deep Bleed Depletion uh, strategy, so... There's been a lot of good decks. This has probably been the most fun deck I played for sure that has been able to beat. That's really good because it can beat things like Lord Nightmon pretty easily if, as long as you play the game smart. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end the video there. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe, share all that good jazz. And I will see you guys next time with another video. Leave them in the comments down below what decks you want to see next. And yeah, have a wonderful night.